Hello, good day. My name is Elroy Vaz. I'm the instructor and regional director of Krav Maga Global in India. Today we are going to go through uh, certain techniques of self-defense for women, especially for women. With all the instances happening in the country, uh, we want to empower women, give them confidence. The main thing is to give the knowledge and to build confidence. Uh, there are certain ways of training uh, women which are different from men. Uh, physical, mental differences between man and female. There are also social differences, psycho psychological differences between men and women. We, we systemize it and uh, do it especially for a lady, a female, a young uh, lady from maybe the age of 14 right up to a lady who's even 60 years old can do these techniques or even older than that if they are fit enough. Uh, we would be going through some basic uh, self-defense today like hand grabs, uh, chokes, bear hugs, etc. Uh, we would start with something which uh, is very normal that happens to a woman which is a slap. It happens all the time, right? It's sad, but it does. So, when somebody comes to slap you, imagine, now he's slapping me. Come to slap me from the side. Hi, go back. There's no point, because anyway his hand is going to come through and he's going to make contact. If you come, I do this, I'm still going to get hit. So, if you can come this side and from this angle hit me. So, what do I do? If my hands are here, I'm talking to you. I only put my hands up to show you from another angle. Come again, this hand, same hand. I put my hand up, I stop you. But again, just stopping a person may not be useful. The person will slap you again and again and again. So sometimes it's better when you're blocking, that means you're defending. In, a, in, our, uh, in our Krav Maga, the block is called a defense. We defend and counter attack at the same time. So see what I'm doing, right? I'm going bum. Again, slowly, very slowly, I'm going bum. I'm defending and using an, you saw my hand, other hand, it was open. I'm using an open hand punch. I'm using the heel of my hand to hit, strike the male. The reason being, most women have nails. They cannot make a fist. If they make a fist, the nails go into the flesh of the palm, right? So we, we, we advise women to hit with an open hand. So a slap can be anywhere on your body. So imagine a man comes to hit you or somebody, an attacker. When we're talking of a male, it could be a female also attacking another female. So you come from the top, my hand would be at a different angle, come. I would go here. From the side to my face, which we showed you earlier, I would go here. To my body, from the side, please come. I would go here. And to my groin and stomach area, I would go there. If you see, I never once looked at his hand. Right? The, your defense should go automatic and you should be looking at the person's body because it could, there could be a second or a third strike coming. Now what we are dealing with a straight punch. Not many people come with a straight punch, but a lot of times people come to punch a woman. Now when you come with a straight punch, the normal reaction, please come, punch me here. Uh, I go back. Again, I'm going back. I'll still get hit. Please come slow and carry on. So going back doesn't save me. So what I do, what is my reaction when someone comes to punch me as a woman? Please come to punch me. I go, hmm. this, this is my reaction, normal reaction, human reaction. So what I'm doing, please come. That's what I do. I'm meeting his hand with my palm somewhere here. Somewhere here. And I'm going diagonally in that direction. And moving away from the line of attack. The line of attack is towards my face. His fist is coming to my face. So if you see, what am I doing? I'm showing you from front. I'm defending and moving my head out of the way. So in case my defense fails, the punch passes my head, my face. So basically, hand defense, body defense. Body here is my head. Right? I am doing hand defense, body defense. Hand defense, body defense. This is what I am doing. Please come. Here. Mom. Again. Mom. But now again, as we did 360, the person can keep on punching me. So I am defending and also counter attacking him. Now it's not possible to do it simultaneously. Remember 360 we did simultaneously. Now I'm doing it maybe 1, 2 or 1.5. That means one and between one and two, the strike goes. So to show you, it goes slow, right? I'm doing boom. What am I doing? Again, as a man, I use my punch. It's most, most normal for me to use a knuckle punch. Again, as a lady, it may not be possible for you to make a fist because your nails will go into your palm, I repeat. So I'm using my open hand. If you see, come slow, I'm blocking and hitting him, right? So again, blocking and hitting him. 
Now to both these techniques, we f it's not over. The techniques are not over. We add in something which is very important. Please come from top. We are going slow. We are showing you the whole technique. Right? See where my eyes are. My eyes are on the person. I can't see behind me. So he's coming to hit me from top. I'm going bam. And I'm looking at where my back was. Because there could be a second or third attacker. Nowadays, as you know, it's very sadly in the newspapers, it's always multiple attackers. You know, days are gone when there used to be one attacker. It's either two, three, or maybe five, sadly. Likewise, for a straight punch, again, see the defense. I'm going, bam, and I'm looking. I'm looking at where my back was, and I'm also looking at the person who attacked me. I can see both. So from there, I decide, where is the exit in my, with reference to me? The exit is on my right over there. So I leave through there. The scanning process also lets you know if there is another attacker. Also lets you know where the exit is, where is danger, is there a table in the way, is there a pillar in the way, are there chairs in the way. So accordingly you have to skirt around and look because when a violent attack comes your way, you get disoriented. And you may run the wrong way and you may run into further trouble. So always, once you solve a situation, scan the area. But the basis of Krav Maga for a lady, what's the defense that I showed you? And when I scanned, please come from top, I'm going, bam, I'm scanning. But what was the process? If you see, look at the distance I've created between him and me. About three meters. Straight punch defense. Bam. See the distance I've created. Your main idea, the main solution for you is distance. Likewise, if you see somebody, please come from a little far off, coming towards, come slow. He's coming uh, uh, maybe from 20 meters away. I see the person. If I see the door, I walk away. Better to. Much better to. Yes, modern lady today, I will stand my ground. Very sadly, it doesn't work. Right? So it's better to be safe. Right? And now he's coming towards me. You also have this choice, ladies, what I'm going to show you. He's coming towards me before he even gives a 360 or a straight punch. Maybe I have the appropriate footwear. With high heels, this is not possible to do at times. But if I have the appropriate footwear and he's coming, he's coming, I think there's gonna be a problem. Boom! I kick him in his groin, right? This is called prevention, right? Preventing the problem. Remember, this groin kick does not kill a person. Cricketers, when they get hit in the groin with the ball, they go sometimes go on to make three a triple century. So please feel free to kick in the groin. What it buys you is time, right? You've seen cricket. When a cricketer gets hit in the groin, all advertisements come on the screen because there is time to recover. In that meantime, you are safe for you. You have 10 minutes, seven minutes. You go away from, this, uh, from the problem, right? I mean, so that's what we want to do. So please feel free. Again, we are going, going to groin. So in case I'm here, in other words, come here, please come closer. I'm here. No, no, he just stand next to me. He's standing, but he, he's threatening me. Bum. Right? I can hit him in his groin. If I'm sideways, this is a lot of people face this problem in the bus, in the train. For me, I hit the person in the groin. Right? I have a daughter. I tell my daughter, don't touch. But I tell my daughter, when in trouble, hit that part. The thing is, as Indians, we teach, we are too soft sometimes. We teach our female child, be soft, no aggression. You require aggression to deal with an attack. Next, we are showing you something called a front choke. If you are choked, this is very dangerous. If you are front choked from here, it can either choke you or your gullet can break. Right? So if you are front choked, what happens normally? Please choke me. This is what happens. You see? When I'm front choked, somebody chokes me. <gasps> this is what happens. So my hands are already up. Your hands are like two, two cups this way. Right? Like two hooks. So what am I doing? He's choking me. I'm doing this sideways. You will say, a woman doesn't have force. But I think all of, some of you all on the camera must have seen my leg. What I did with my knee. I'll show it to you slowly. Choke me, please. So I'm going sideways and putting my knee into his groin. That will release. That will release. That is the solution. And after that, again I can... You remember I showed you how to hit with the open hand? Please come. I... One, two, and three. And again scan. And then decide. Exit the situation, go what you want to do. We show you something called a side choke. Please choke from the side. This could happen. 
It's like I'm looking at something and someone chokes me from the side, right? So here I can use one hand. See this? I'm releasing with one hand. Now when I release with one hand, I can counter attack with my hand to the groin. Here, right? So again, I can do a further counter attack. You can choke me. I'm releasing, hitting, and giving him one with my elbow. Right? If you see, what did I do? I release with the hook, hit him in the groin, hit him with the elbow, and pushed him, and scanned the area. Right? Maybe dealing with the back choke now. This back choke from behind. Somebody's choking me. You can choke me. Yeah, it's a choke. It's very dangerous for a lady because you don't know what who the person is. It's also dangerous because in a car park, etc., someone chokes you, drag you into a van or something like that. So you've got to uh, do it very fast. You choke me. Yeah, I cannot hit. I cannot release. So what I do, I look down and I go for his thumbs and I pluck. If you see, I'm plucking the thumbs. So what I do, I'm plucking the thumbs and I'm going diagonally back with my left leg. Not backwards or sidewards, diagonally back because then I can hit him in his groin. Right? So to show you, one shot, I'm going here. And then again I can hit the person and scan the area. I end it with the elbow. Right? Now we are showing you a front bear hug. Somebody hug, bear hug. Somebody does this to you, but your hands are free. Right? Now this is further than a choke. It's full body touch. So it's something serious. So with my two thumbs I put into his eye and kick the person in the groin. It may seem a little brutal, but at home your own father, or brother, or your family member, male family members cannot do this to you. So a stranger doing this on the road, you are entitled to do something to release yourself. And this is a possibility. You put your thumbs into his eyes, push it back, kick the person and scan the area. Right? Same thing happens to you from behind, your hands are free. Here, we showed you elbows earlier, right? If you have high heels or if you have shoes which are strong, you can start stamping the person's foot. Hit the person and push the person. Hit with your elbow and push the person. A human body has, there are many red buttons on a male's body which will give him pain. With your nails, right? I said a woman cannot make a fist. With your nails you can poke the eye. With your nails you can poke the throat. As I said, you can give a knee kick, kick, hand to the groin. Again, you can stamp the toes or the instep. You can kick the knee of the person or the shin. These are vulnerable points, right? Remember, it's scary. When a person is far away, he can do things to you, right? Maybe he can slap you and kick you. But to do things with, with your... to come closer to you. When he comes closer to you, you have the advantage. You can hit sensitive parts. Please do. Okay? Use sensitive parts. Use what we have taught you. Train on it. Have confidence. Walk with confidence and be safe. Thank you. I have a program on Zaito Gazali Porillo, Zaito Gazali Shikle Sudda. Kun Hajakun, Hajakun Kup Mahatwachi Gazala Satimar Sauskuti. I'm just Samazan, I'm a Bailang Purupas on another Yop Badal Pakzai. I have a program on Tumjakatir Itlas Ashile. Magasta is a grim mighty, Tumjakatir Purpur useful as the league. And he mighty, Munja, her program, Tumka Kosalaglo, Hamka Muzrat Kayat, Amjaya email ID chair, and he Kushravat, Safe Ravat, Poetravat, Rudan.